Welcome to Elgin Park. Have you visited the quiet town before? You can't locate Elgin Park on any map, but over 22 million visitors have found this peaceful small town on Flickr, a photo sharing internet site. Meet 59 year old Michael Paul Smith, the mayor and creator of Elgin Park. Michael is an artist who has combined his lifelong love of his hometown, Sewickley, Pennsylvania, a small town about seven miles north of Pittsburgh, and his nostalgia for the mid 20th century. For his photos, Michael sets up buildings on boards and places them on a card table so he can photograph outdoors. He uses real trees, telephone wires, and natural light for background. Michael achieves authenticity because of his creative attention to every minute detail. His eye for the proper perspective, from the late afternoon sun to make the perfect glint on the hood of a 1951 Studebaker shine just right. Michael is not shy about sharing his secrets, and that is one of the secrets to his internet fame. People are intrigued that he uses a small six megapixel digital camera to shoot the Elgin Park scenes. No special lenses, no special tricks or expensive equipment. It's all a question of getting perspective, he says. Michael prides himself on the fact that he does not use Photoshop. And, uh, and I'll say, this is how I did it. And some people say, I can't believe you gave your secret away, and other people are saying thank you. You know, we've never, we would have never figured this out. And uh, my favorite line, I've said it a million times, but it's still a favorite. Uh, I received an email from some uh, photographer, fashion photographer in France. Apparently he's somewhat well known, I don't know him. Uh, and he says, what lenses do you use and all that? And I said, I don't use a fancy camera. And he wrote back one word. He says, no, two words. He said, you lie. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> and I never heard from him again. So uh, let's see what else do I make here. Though there are homes, businesses, and familiar scenes in Elgin Park, there are no people. That's because Michael wants visitors to look at his photos and bring their own memories. Uh, yeah, I get serious criticism on that one. Uh, I don't want... I. Personally, I find photographs with people and distracting because I want to know about their life and whatever. So I figured I want the, uh, the people to look to my photos and bring their own memories. And, and, you know, what would you do here? Even if you're a young kind kid. Kind of insert themselves into Absolutely. And it triggers responses. I've gotten a lot of emails from little kids. Uh, and they said, I love your photographs. I'm too young to know this stuff. He's, you know, but that, but this, I remember my great grandmother, or my remember, and so and then you start seeing the thread again, you know, and how it directly applies to them, and that's very emotionally gratifying for me. Um, and then I get uh, the, the people my age or older, and they're just, yes, yes. How did you know this? You know, how did you know this? And I know it's not an exact reproduction, but it clearly is. It's a chunk of something hitting them here. Um,